Hey y'all, Coach in the Fire here, guys. Stacy with me. Shalom, Mama. Today is May the 4th in the year 2023, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are getting ready for second Passover. Right. Mm -hmm. Most of us did first Passover. Right. But I believe after watching this video, there will be a lot of people who will be considering doing second Passover again here in May. You mean after they have done the first one, they will do the second one again? Well... Thing is, we learned so much during the Feast of First Passover. Right. So many revelations came out during that week. Like, for instance, this one we're looking at here in the Great Book of True Life, Teaching 1, verse 16, which talks about what the bread and the wine of Passover actually is, what it means. Mm -hmm. Well, simply put, what it boils down to is taking a bath, and actually, the scripture says to wash your feet, praying and reading the scripture. Really? So that's all? Well, as it turns out, that's what we're reading here. The bread is the scripture and the wine is the essence that we find in the scripture. Mm. If you think about it, like back in the old days with Moses, they actually had a lamb they had to sacrifice. Right. Well, inside of that lamb was his blood. Mm -hmm. And anybody who ate that lamb would have also consumed that blood. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, today, that lamb is the scripture. We have the scripture now. We don't have to use a lamb. We actually have the word itself, which what? is the Bible or the scripture. Mm -hmm. And inside that scripture is the essence. Okay. And so anybody who reads or consumes that scripture can expect to have that divine essence put on them. Mm -hmm. And that's what Passover is really all about. Okay. That's what the Messiah, that's what Moses, what everybody was leading us to is this one day where all of us throughout the whole world will get together and share in the breaking of this bread, which is the word, mm -hmm. all praying and meditating at the same time, asking for our father to come and be a part of our life. Right. You can imagine how powerful that is. Yeah. So for those who were unable to do those things, now well, we have the second. Yeah. Or didn't know. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people didn't know. Like I said, I had these revelations doing and I wanted so desperately to do a class and say, hey, 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 we got some new information here. But it was during the feast and I didn't want to break the. Uh, Leaven and part right, of it. Right. So I just was praying that people, and I believe most people did. A lot of, most people would have spent the day reading the scripture, mm -hmm. but in all of my Passovers, I don't think I spent everyone reading the scripture. Some of them, I just got the leavening out of the house and that was about it. Most of them. Well, then that's why we're doing this class mm -hmm. because we really need to know what it's about. And it's not just getting the leavening out, but it's actually getting that unadulterated scripture in. That's important. So we could miss out if all we do is get the leavening out of the house and do it and don't actually clean ourselves up and go through this communion of this bread and this wine, this scripture and this divine essence. We could actually miss Passover. And I'm afraid some people did and they will be and hopefully they will be considering doing second Passover. I know I will. It will be sort of like um, cleaning the outside and not being. Or not cleaning the inside, sort of like that. Right, exactly. Taking mm -hmm. care of the outside and not taking care of the inside. That's a great example. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Shalom, Mama.